Hi folks and welcome to a Mac Tactics tactical review. So, not my tactics, but a review of a tactic created by one of the contributors or the content creators from inside the EAFC uh, tactical hub that I will leave a link to in the description again. Um, this is from a content creator called QR Code. It's not actually his name. It's not, it's not QR Code. Uh, but QR Code is what I like. I think that's funny. Uh, it's Quick Rage EAFC. I will leave a link to the original d Twitter thing in the description so you can have a look at it. Hopefully now you can see the um, GFX that he put on his tweet and that is done by Smart Design, Wes at Smart Design. I will also leave a link to their Twitter within the, the description as well. I'm trying to to shout out everybody that contributes to anything. I think that's really important. And it's one of the reasons why I'm doing this tactical review because I want to promote other content creators within the, the hub. I think that's really important for collaborative work, for helping each other and for building, building a community, which I have said since the very first video I made. Community is really important. Um, so I will get into a game and then I will show you tactics at the end, like normal. So, here we are in the gameplay section. Um, new team I've been playing about with uh, since last weekend league. Um, Beth Mead, really good card, like it. Um, Loft of Cheek I got as a red. He is a bit of a tank, if I'm honest. I never used his card. I did hear a lot of people talk about how good his card was. His other cards. Um, oof. Diamond header from Kudos who I packed in the guarantee pack. Didn't realise you could save that. Anyone that has saved it for a big pre big um, team of the season, well done. So this is a 4-5-1 uh, with the two cams. Now I am not going to lie, this, this tactic took me a little while to figure out. Um, in the tweet you can see that it says it is not a meta and Quick Rage does not do um, total meta tactics. He makes fun tactics and you can see two goals in six minutes. This this is fun. Um, it, but it did take me a few games to figure out the movement. Partly that is because it's direct passing and uh, balanced. Which, uh, as you know from my last couple of videos, I've kind of... It's not that I've stopped using them altogether. I have started using forward runs with fast build up or... Um, long ball um, but fast build up I should should explain this better in the 433 video I don't think I did well enough fast build up will leave you very susceptible to um, that's uh, Char Charlton's power shot mental one of the I think right out of there with team of the year Haaland's power shot if you if anybody gets a chance to play with this card and it's, it's not overly expensive I think I've gone for under a million um, I think it was just packed so much. Um, what was I saying? Can't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fast build up can leave you leave you a little bit exposed. So I should have said that in the the four three three video. I did mean to look at the run by. Love this cheek there. Brilliant run. Oh, another one. <sighs> um, so with this formation, you're quite solid at the back. Not as solid. Uh, some formations but fairly solid solid enough um you've only got one center mid but your right cam is on get back i've got lots of cheek there and give him enough time and he gets right back into position probably charlton as well he's i would play a striker type player in that ah, he's outside. in that um left cam um i don't know why uh the, the instructions on him are, are quite confusing for what he actually does. It's one of those weird nuances within the tactics creation of, of EAFC. Um, you think they're going to do... You look at it and you're like, oh, they'll definitely do this. He's going to be on the edge of the box. He's going to be up and down the pitch. I want a box-to-box -box midfielder there. And yeah, that works because I've, I've used uh, Loftus-Cheek on that side. But I put Bobby Charlton on that side because I just felt like Loftus-Cheek was getting in a lot more goal-scoring positions. How is he not offside? Um, Casemiro back in the team again as my CDM. I should have sent Rogba through, but I'm just going to play about with this. Try and keep the guy in the game so you can see more of it. So you see how quickly everyone's forward. Look at that. Look at the team forward now. Look how many options I have 
just fun to play. We can go to the edge of the box, inside, one more, another one, shoot from there. So you can really play about with people with this, this formation. I'm not saying take the mick out of people, but you know, there's, there's so much for you to do. You can, I've got Beth Mead and Kudos on. I keep meaning to change their sides because they both have whipped pass, but they're on the wrong sides really for using it. Um, I have to keep checking back. Um, but, oh, wrong button. Um, having whip pass oh, on your left and right mids is great because it gives you that that whipped, that option, like we talk about all the time. Be unpredictable, have options. Gives you Tiki Taka style play. As you see, this guy, ah, oh, that was a poor touch, mate. You're on pressure technique now, though, because your players tried to close me down immediately. And what I, I struggled with and what I realised, what I wasn't doing right, is you just have to take a moment and watch where your players are going and watch what they're doing. They will make runs for you uh, into nice areas and you've got loads of through balls, loads of tiki-taka style stuff. It's a really nice formation. I'll get into another game and just give you a wee bit more gameplay just so you can see it a bit more. Right, here we are back again. Like, subscribe, comment, it makes a big difference. This is attempt two at game number two. Last guy quit after only a couple of minutes. When I scored and he gave almost gave away a penalty. I think he probably got a red card, so he was gone skis. Um I have remembered to go into the tactics and swap my two left and right midfielders, Meat and Kudos, I think it is. Ooh. That is mental. This guy is loving the pressure. Here's where you get power shot. Oh he moved to keeper. Why? Why didn't I seen that as I was powering up? I could have just cancelled it. <laughs> uh, so my thoughts on this gate, this formation after like, oh, I don't know how many games I've played with it, maybe 20 now, um, is I, I really like it as a, I would say it's a, for me, with my style of play, you see the wee passes we had there. Oh man, concrete fingers there. Um, it's a, a very high level um, rivals tactic. You could easily take it into weekend league if it suits your style of play. Um, I, you know how sweaty weekend league was last week, and I fully expect it to be even worse this week. But you see how many um, different options you have in these positions. Headed a header from Mead. She's like five foot three. Scores a header. Lovely card. The reason I brought her in is she's going to play in my um, five at the back formations and my three at the back formations. Got another new three at the back formation coming hopefully this this week, towards the end of the week. Um, I've got it in for testing at the, in the moment, but I think I've, I think I've run the testers dry there. Very quiet on this one, but they have tested two tactics for me in like a week. I don't think they were <laughs> expecting <laughs> that. And I threw another one into the Discord, just go like, yeah, let's go for it. So look at all these tactics. I've been doing this for a little while. I have several different tactics. Um, so yeah, it's been great. Getting lots of feedback, getting lots of tactics tested. Uh, saves me bags of time, if I'm honest. Because you know I was playing on so many different accounts. Oh, that's... That was lovely. Yeah, I will give him that. I'm not not even bothered by that. That was that was a very nice work goal. He just dropped the shoulder and done me. Oh, he's he's committed. He's already got the evil on this guy. Ah. Ooh. Nah, come on. I hate when that does that. <gasps> Charlton. It locks onto your player when you try trying to close the ball down with someone and you're locked onto someone who's further away. See that space you get here and then I can just... Oh, ha ha. I think he read that right at the, right at the last minute. That was stupid of me. I wanted it to go to Drogba. Drogba. 
See, that was, that's a, uh, I'd be annoyed if that goal had gone in against me. That wasn't, that wasn't great from EA. I think that went through the player. That Vasquez looks a nice wee card. I might have to do that SPC. I think he's quite cheap. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? I did think about getting that Cafu card for this team. I enjoyed him when I used him. That was a lovely little touch. Just that extra pass. This is elite, by the way. This is an elite game, so I, I don't mind conceding goals. Um, oh, uh, you will concede goals in elite. This formation, I'm conceding a few more goals than my other formations. Um, it's, I don't think it's all down to the tactics. I think it's partly down to me being a little bit gung-ho with it. But why not be gung-ho at this point in FIFA? Nobody wants to just be sitting around doing nothing. You moved your, I'm sure he moved his keeper again there. Lucky Drogba is just a cheat code on this game. So with this tactic you are, like I say, looking for diagonal through balls. Oh man, I've just given him that. Romario. Romero. Saving me there. Uh, looking for through balls, your midfield will create lots of space. Your two, your left and your right cam, they are trying to do lots of 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 work both forward and back. You're also telling them stay on the edge of the box. That's why I think having a striker where Bobby Charlton's playing is the definitely the call, and that was um, recommended to me um, by uh, Quick Rage. He um, said he was using Mia Ham in that position, and I completely understand why. Because uh, the amount of chances that position gets is crazy. But having someone that can... Oh, that was terrible. Having someone that can link up play is really important there. Yeah. There we go. Mead getting a second. You see the movement of Mead. Look where she is. She's played left, uh, right midfield. Look where, look where she pops up. It's brilliant. Uh, those wee runs. Just you know, it's, that's everything I like. Um, that kind of games is so much fun. You see, you're playing great. I'm playing good FIFA. I'm playing nice passing, intricate. No skill moves. I didn't do any skill moves in that one. Um, the, op the opposition has a couple of skill moves and a couple of, of really nice goals. I'm a fussy because, you know, if someone's going to score goals against me, I want them to score good goals against me. Right, like, subscribe, comment. I'm going to get into the tactics part. Right, here's the squad that I was running for it. You can see that Mead was only on two chevrons of chemistry. Um, I thought she was on more. <laughs> I thought she was on three. Uh, I need a, an, another English player, I think. Yeah. Um, so I need an English left back. I think I'll probably replace Robinson. Um, big players in this team were Drogba, a striker, just does it all. Uh, Charlton, brilliant. Two left and right midfielders were brilliant. And Casemiro, just the un unsung hero, doing all the, the dirty work in the middle. So here is the tactic. It is balanced, 44 width, depth 52, build up play balance and direct passing. Uh, width 45. Now it does say you can put the depth up to 60 or 65 um, if you want to have a auto press kind of thing. Uh, I never did that. I just played with it at 52. I never really need to push it up. Could have probably done that at the beginning when I was getting beat. Because <laughs> I did get beat a few games. It's an elite, so I'm going to get beat. Um, yeah, I got I got beat a few times at first before I kind of found my way with the formation. So if that happens to you, don't worry about that. That's perfectly normal. Some these sorts of formations that are are more um, out there, uh, asymmetrical and stuff like that, they do take a wee bit of time just to get used to. But it's worth getting used to it because it's fun. Um, players in the box four, five. Sorry, players in the box five. Corners and free kicks up to you. He had them on one and one, so I tried them on one and one. I would go for two and two. Uh, this is the formation, the 451. That's where I had everybody. And these are the instructions. So, Drogba as a striker is on stay central, and that's it. Uh, Casemiro is on, as my centre mid, is on stay back while attacking, stay on edge of box and cover centre. Uh, Bobby Charlton in the left attacking midfielder position is on come back on defence, stay on edge of box. Loftus Cheek in the right side, Ram. 
right attacking mid position is on balanced everything. Um, mid as a right mid is on comeback, cut inside, come back on defense, cut inside, get in behind. Uh, that's wrong though, isn't it? She's not meant to be on that. She's meant to be on comeback, cut inside. Yeah, she's meant to be on balanced. So that's how it should be. Um, which is weird because did that mean that is that how she got that goal at the end? I don't know. She should be that. Uh, Kudos is on comeback on defense, cut inside, get in behind. That's asymmetrical. So you've got these two players doing something, and you've got these two players doing something different. Changes the shape of the team. Uh, Robson is on stay back while attacking and overlap, and Florenzi is on balanced and overlap. Uh, two centre backs are we don't touch because we don't know playing striker and keeper. He said balanced, so I left them on balanced. That is the formation. My closing thoughts on this formation it's fun. Uh, I love it for, for rivals. I will be keeping it in my rivals rotation. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you're used to it, it had you've seen the passing angles, it stretched teams, really worked well against the the three the four three two one. Um although I did get beat off a couple of four three two ones, just the way that they had their setup differently. So I don't know if there's a new meta four three two one out there that I don't really know about yet, but Yes, I'm going to need to investigate that. Yeah, if you want a, a, a different formation, one that not everybody's running and not everybody's playing, give this a go. Good fun. Um, I've got more videos of tactics from the, the Discord coming out. Uh, like I say, promotion is, is really good. I like everybody to get promotion for the work that they're doing. We're all putting in the time, so let's get views on it, basically. Uh, like I say, if you stayed this far in the video, well done. Um, you may be one of my subs. If you're not one of my subs, please sub. Majority of people watching my videos are not subbed. It's weird. I am the same with the majority of videos I watch. And someone says, you're not subbed, please sub. And I'm like, yeah, maybe. But please, sub, like, comment, it all helps with the algorithm. Check out the Discord if you want to get in on tactics. Apply to become a tester and you can help me test my new tactics. Like I say always, if this game is fun, keep playing it. If it stops being fun, play something else. We're getting into summer. If you want to give me ideas for games in the comments and games I can play over summer, please do. I'll try and make videos of it. Catch you guys later. Bye.